how are you improving your accuracy and mechanics as a passer? My accuracy and mechanics. Um, I, think, I think that's something you work on daily as a quarterback. You know, no matter you know whether it's the off season or you're in season, you're, you're always striving to get that one percent every single day and uh, prove yourself. No matter if it's you know on the field or off the field. You were drafted by a team that kind of has an entrenched starter. How would you feel about maybe backing him up for for a few years and building yourself up that way? Yeah. You know, I think whatever situation I get, you know, blessed to be a part of whatever organization, uh, I'm, I'm going to prepare like a starter. No matter if I am starting day one or, or if I'm, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a role where I'm backing up a, a veteran guy. So uh, I'm excited you know, to, to get whatever situation, whatever opportunity I get to make the best of it, and to put my best foot forward. What if the guy you were behind was Tom Brady? Uh, I'd be obviously uh, pretty pretty darn cool. I think. Uh, you know, to learn from from one of the best of all time, and, and, and a football mind like like you know, Tom, and, and to, to be able to soak some of that knowledge up, some of that wisdom would be a, would be a, a great opportunity. But uh, like I said, you know, whatever team it is, um, I'm going to maximize my potential, my role, and, and, and uh, you know, uh, compete my butt off. Um, I don't know the recruiting story, but Clemson, South Carolina, yeah. So Clemson already had their guy, which I understood. Um, South Carolina recruited me, Coach Spurrier recruited me, but never ended up pulling the trigger, um, you know, for whatever reason. I, uh, North Carolina came in late, Tennessee came in late when I was already committed to Oklahoma State. I really liked LSU, it was my first offer. Loved Coach Miles and Coach Cam Cameron, uh, but uh, you know, wanted to throw the ball around. I didn't want to hand the ball off to number seven and, and uh, wanted to toss it around and uh, felt like I could play early there and, and, and be the best kind of uh, pathway to the NFL. So. I, I did. He, he's from Charlotte, so um, you know he, he was a year older than me. But we definitely uh, you know kept tabs on each other's high school career. And then uh, when he went to Tennessee and you know, you know, followed him, and then it ends up to the, you know, his next his next stop. So I did. Uh, we were in different classes, so we. we you know, yeah, I, I actually got the chance to meet Philip a couple weeks ago. Um, out in Southern California, working out, throwing, and um, great guy, great, great person, great player. Someone I've looked up to for many years. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it would be a dream come true to, 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 you know, in that opportunity, in that situation, would, would be one where I would, you know, learn from from a veteran guy, from from. A, a great player and, and uh, pick up as much as I can and, and uh, like I said prepare for the, prepare like I'm the starter knowing I'm you know one play away and, and uh, but like I said yeah that, that would that would be cool. Did you meet with the Chargers? Um, you know I, I've got I've got some meetings I had some meetings Wednesday night some meetings tonight but out of respect for the teams I, I'd rather not say who I'm meeting with. You talked about the team uh, Yes I did and, yeah. What's the interview process been like for you? I've heard it's a bit of a grind interview after interview. Yeah I think you know, I, I couldn't participate in the Senior Bowl because I wasn't I wasn't able to play, but I still went down and wanted to, you know, kind of put my best foot forward with the interview process. So I think that kind of prepared you a little bit for this, you know, a little more intense 15-minute, you know, formal meetings in the evening. So, um, you know, it's 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 been good. You know, I, I feel comfortable, you know, explaining myself, articulating myself to to evaluators, to coaches, and uh, you know, that's what I've done you know, thus far. That's what I'll continue to do. What do you think your biggest strengths are, and what do you need to get better at? Um, you know, strengths, I'd say, you know, my ability to throw the ball on the field, I think uh, you know, I've done it accurately uh, at a high level for three years. My production, my, my leadership, my experience, which starts 32 wins as a starter, and uh, just kind of, you know, just, just uh, the kind of teammate I am. I'm, I'm, I'm a fun, be, fun guy to be around. I enjoy being part of the team, putting the team first, and, uh, you know, competing my butt off. Mason, the offense that you operate in, obviously, very spread. Do you feel like this is kind of the right time for yeah, I think um, you know you've seen you've seen spread quarterbacks come to the league the last five years, and they've ended up being pretty successful the, at the next level. And I think uh, yeah, you're definitely starting to see a lot more of those concepts that you know the, the, high, the high tempo type offenses. Um, you know, NFL teams adopting more of that you know that that, that philosophy. So you know, I, I don't. Uh, you know, I, I can only control what I can control, and whatever organization I get to, whatever kind of, you know, whatever whatever playbook, whatever offense they run, I'll be uh, excited to learn and, and to, to, to begin to master.
Mason, on the other side of that, people love to dog the Big 12 for not having defense. They say it's, there's no defense, you know, that you go up against basically uh, statues in the secondary. Yeah. How would you counter that argument? How has how have those defenses prepared you for this level? Well, we played uh, Colorado, Washington, and, uh, and uh, Virginia Tech. We beat the crap out of all of them in, in the offseason. So, you know, those are those are Big 12 defenses. Uh, are not Big 12 defenses. And, uh, Played pretty well against those guys, so you throw on that tape, and I think that'll kill that that, uh, that argument right there. How do you think James Washington would describe you? Um, would describe me. I think me and James are great friends. He, he's uh, he's a humble guy. He's he's a heck of a competitor. He's he's uh, his work ethic every single off season has been you know top notch. He, he never he never drops off. You know I think he, he would describe me as a good friend and a great teammate and a great leader. How would you describe him? Him. Unbelievable athlete. I think you saw it. I, I saw it from day one, being at uh, Oklahoma State uh, and uh, seeing his, you know, his speed, his leaping ability, his body control, his strong hands. I mean, he's he's a complete package. Uh, you, you can put him in the slot. You can put him outside. He, he can make you pay from wherever. So, uh, uh, you know, on top of that, you're getting a great human being, a great a great man, a great player. Mason, what do you think you do better than other quarterbacks in this class? You know, I, I'm, I'm out of the business of comparing myself, but I think you know, my strengths. I, you know, said earlier, my ability to throw the ball on the field accurately. I've done it for three years. Um, you know, I think uh, accuracy in general across the, across the board. I'm one of the most accurate in the class. I think uh, my production for three years. You know, my wins as a starter, 32, and, and uh, my ability to, to play with injuries and only miss one start is, is, is speaks for itself. And like, like I said, I'm, I'm just you know, I'm confident. I'm happy to be here, and I'm going to put my best foot forward. Mason.